Good morning, homesteaders. We are talking about fruit trees today. I have several fruit trees on my property. Some I've planted in the last year or so, and some have been here for a while. So this is one of our apple trees that has been here for many, many years actually. And you can tell there's actually apples growing on it. Um, I've had some problems with this tree, just pruning it. It seems every year uh, it, it grows like crazy. And I, I prune four or five other trees exactly the same way and they grow the way I want them. But this tree always gives me problems. But thankfully I have some fruit this year. Um, not quite ready to eat, but I just want to taste it. It's, it's looking good. Um, it is almost ready to eat, but I'm going to feed this to Stella, our pet pig, who's literally hanging out at my feet at this very moment. So let's go ahead and give her a snack. She loves them apples. Yes, Dalla. I'm at another apple tree that's only a few feet away from our other uh, main apple tree. I do have another one planted down by the horse ring. Now this tree is a little less productive, but it does have apples on it this year. Um, small apples, but there's a problem with this tree. Now I did not um, plant this tree, but as you can see, it has an extreme amount of lean. Um, we have had it propped up in the past, but this tree, was quite old when we moved in um i'd say over 20 years old all of these fruit trees and that's one of the problems with dwar with dwarf fruit trees is they have a shallow um root so they are prone to uh leaning over and being blown over by the wind or loose soil we live in an area that has uh some sandy soil in places um so this tree has an extreme lean to it. Um, it is producing apples, but that's definitely one of the things to think about um, is the leaning problems with dwarf fruit trees. Now, the ones I've planted, um, I have those supported, but this one is so old, um, you can't really change its lean at this point. So uh, we're just hoping it doesn't fall over in the future. But I'm gonna show you the really bad thing about dwarf fruit trees that um, a lot of people don't think about. Now, I'm always going to plant dwarf fruit trees, but this is um, something to think about when you start planting fruit trees for the long term. So let's go see what happened. Apple, apple. Ding. Here's one of my peach trees. As you can see, uh, there's um, a decent amount of peaches. This is an older tree. Um, there's a decent amount of peaches, probably over 100 at least, maybe 150. So here is the thing you need to know about fruit trees, dwarf fruit trees. They don't live that long. This tree is over 20 years old. I know it's over 20 years old because I know the people that planted it. We've been on our farm for five years. There was a lady that lived here before us for about 10 years. She wasn't into the gardening or orchards or anything like that. And it was the people that lived here before she did that planted these fruit trees. I know that because just by chance, I met the daughter of the owners. She came up here on vacation, 
and she stopped by the house and I talked to her. So she knows that these trees are over 20 years old. Fruit trees only typically dwarf fruit trees. 15 to 20 is their lifespan. Um, so this tree, last year we got peaches from it. This year it's dead. There's not a single leaf on it. I mean, it is firewood basically. Um, and I know with fruit trees, they have branches that die off and you prune them and such, but this tree is dead, dead, dead. The uh, tree next to it was most likely planted the same exact time. They're peach trees together. This tree has peaches, but it definitely has a lot of branches dying. I'm expecting this tree to not last long either. So again, I'm always going to have dwarf fruit trees because they're easy to prune. You get a quicker harvest. Um, but what you need to do is long-term planning. You need to plant more fruit trees every few, few years so that you have fruit coming in continually. So you can't really see them, but down on the other side of the horse ring, I have three or four fruit trees. So I know these trees aren't gonna last forever. One is dead. Um, you just need to plan ahead with fruit trees. Um, there's a great crab apple tree up here um, that I made some cider from last year. This tree, again, is probably as old as the others. We have about six, uh, seven fruit trees. We have a plum tree as well that were all planted by the owner before the owner that owned our property. So these are older trees. We've been enjoying them, but we're just planning ahead that they're not gonna be here forever. And uh, that means planting more fruit trees. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any comments, tell me about your dwarf fruit trees. Like, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.